This is Hillshot with Hillshot TV and I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to install the single player wrapper for Daisy. Okay guys? Alright. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have a link in the description of this video and on a YouTube video since I'm doing this live and I'm going to show you how to install the single player wrapper for Daisy. First things first, you download the file and you get a nice little zip file. Just double click that. Da, da, da. Double click it. Once it's open, you'll see there's two files in there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to right click that, your zip file, and we're going to go ahead and go to extract here. It's going to take a couple minutes and then you should have two files. All right. We're going to take those two files. I'm going to open this up so we can see the, the name of the files. We have daisy underscore sp dot generis dot pbo. Then we have daisy sp underscore readme. Alright. Now, once you have those all taken care of, what we're going to do is we're going to open up program files or wherever you're at, wherever your Steam's located. So we're going to find Steam real quick. Alright and we have Steam. Once we open up Steam we're going to go to Steam Apps and this is for the Steam version so that will be in the description as well. We're going to open up Steam Apps then we're going to go to our common file. Once we go to common we're going to go to Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. We're going to open that up and this is all under the um, assumption that you already have Daisy installed. All right. Once you get there, you're going to go to your at daisy folder. You're going to open that up. Now you're going to see you have rsync, add-ons, blah, 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 blah. We're going to open up add-ons. That's everything that daisy has. So that's just to make sure you have daisy installed. Now, to install what we need to install, we need to go over here to missions. Um, we're going to double click missions. We're going to open that up. And now you see over here in missions, I have added in daisy underscore sp dot generis dot pbo and we have daisy sp underscore readme you want to put all that in here alright once you do that we're gonna go ahead and close this and what you're gonna do is you need to launch daisy alright I'm gonna show you two methods real quick um, what we're going to do is we're going to use a 6 launcher first. So we're going to take our 6 launcher, bring it out. Going to double click on 6 launcher. Alright. Once 6 launcher is open, when it takes its sweets time, because yes, 6 launcher takes a little bit, we'll ha go ahead and verify. Alright. Now, when this comes up, you're going to go ahead and hit verify. Alright. Da 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 da. It's going to do its little verifying bit. Alright. Now, what we're going to do, instead of clicking a server and finding one, we're just going to hit the launch button. Okay, guys? We'll hit launch. Now, we're going to get a black screen real quick. Alright, just give it a few seconds, guys. I'm doing this live. So, once that comes up, ba -ba -bum, it's going to go ahead and go in. Once it's in, it's going to take a little bit. Once you're in.
But don't worry, guys, that are watching this live on my live stream. Everything will be up on YouTube here in just a second, and you'll be good to go. So, hang in there. Alright, please wait a moment, blah, blah, blah. Loading times may vary, guys, you know. Alright, once that is open, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to look over here at the Arma 2 beta expansion at DayZ. You want to make sure that's up. Once that is up, you're going to go over here and hit single player. Once you hit single player, you want to go to over here where it says scenarios, okay? Click scenarios, and then we're going to click Daisy SP, all right? There you go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit, you know, like, all right, for me, it's going to be resume because I've already got a Daisy SP going. So I'm going to hit resume, and then I'm going to show you the other cool parts of this, okay? All right. It's going to load up. Loady up. Takes a little bit. Already loady, 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 raw hide. Move them up, head them up, move out. Loading. Now we're going to be at receiving. You go from loading to receiving. Don't know how that works, but usually when you load something, you don't immediately receive it. I guess this is like UPS. You load it, then you receive it. Alright. Then it's going to take a second and blah, blah, blah. Give it a minute and it'll, it'll straighten out. There we go. Blue, 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 blue. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Now, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you how to do the spawn commands real quick. All right. We're going to move over here away from a zombie. All right. Once you get in game, if you want to mess with the spawn menu, you're going to hit zero on your keypad, on your top row keys. So you're going to hit zero. Then you're going to see a thing pop up. You want to go all the way down to radio. Once you get to radio, you should have select player model, spawn objects, no zombie attacks, show loot info, set mission time. Right now, as far as I know, when you hit no zombie attacks, I don't think it works. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that menu, and we're going to go to 7. 7 will then bring up a contextual menu. So that way, if you want to get practice with a certain weapon or anything like that, you can do that. And also, the brand new bear traps are in. So you can actually just spawn you a bear trap, like so, if you want to get used to using it. You're going to hit escape. Anytime you want to exit out of that menu, you want to hit escape. So we're going to take that and pick it up. Once we pick it up, we're going to put it over here. And this is how you're going to be able to use a bear trap. So we're going to randomly place it somewhere right now so we're gonna just do that alright here we go you right click the bear trap and you click place trap once it is placed leave it alone alright guys just leave it alone well it, sometimes you have to do it a couple times so reset trap alright boom now when you activate it boom it snaps so that's how it works that's how the bear trap works you can pick it up so after you use it you can use it again and again and again and again so it's awesome All right, and that will actually conclude the tutorial part of this alright so we're going to go ahead and da -da -da -da. save it once we save it we can come back here later All right, and revert uh, back, I think, we, there it is, suspend, there we go, click suspend, <sighs> it's been a rough day, anyway, after all said and done, you should be able to play the single player version, I want to thank everybody for watching, and as always, be safe.
Alright, be safe. So, we'll see you here shortly for my...